About an hour from now, Rico is, I mean, he's going to be hosting the Oscars at 430. <laughs> the new Big Ten take shape, 430 announcement. The schedule sounds like Michigan and USC are going to open the thing up in L.A. Sounds like it. We'll Could see. Be Ohio State at UCLA. And Michigan State playing Southern New Hampshire at a satellite campus. Very exciting. Michigan State versus Specs at LTU. Exactly. <laughs> uh, you know what? Once again... I'm going to hijack the show for a second. I don't like this theme, Kenny. Uh, Tigers lineup has come out for today. Looks like the game is going to happen. I, so, so, Batting so, first. Oh, stop, stop. See, 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 I know what's happening here. In right field. This, he's only doing this to anger me. Zach McKinstry. I have no problem with Zach McKinstry hitting first. Fine. Batting second. Just there's only one person. At shortstop. There's only one person that would upset me. Javier Baez. On. <laughs> Come on. Are they seriously doing this again? Mm -hmm. You know what? Straight up, putting Javi Baez second in any batting order in today's MLB, the way he plays, it's malpractice. It's malpractice. Do you know what Javi Baez OBP is the last 20 games? 20. No. I looked this up last night because no. I'm sick. On base percentage the last 20 games. So, you know, about a 15% rip of a season. Kenny, what do you think his OBP is? 300. I, I was going to say 350. Lower and lower. In fact, you'd be more accurate dividing Kenny's your answer by two. 181. He has a 181 OBP the last 20 games. And A.J. Hinch is batting him second. Scotty Harris ought to go down there with a straight jacket. <laughs> last 100 yeah. at-bats. 100 at-bats. Look this up last night. I'm a loser. How many walks do you think Javi's gotten? 100 at-bats. And if you play every day, you're going to get about 500 A.B.'s. I mean, if you're every, every day, maybe 600. How many walks in the last 100 at-bats for Javi? Seven. Five. Here's a hint. The number is one more than penis you have. Two. Two. Two walks in 100 at-bats, and they just trolley him out there in the two-hole again. How many home runs does Javi have his last 100 at-bats? Two, I'm going to go zero. You are correct, sir. <laughs> zero. I thought for sure you'd have at least two. Zero. No, because I was waiting on the home run because I wanted it to be a drop. I was going to have Roberto Taylor make that drop. Right. So I, I knew that one was zero because the second he hit one, I'm like, we got to have a show open with Javi hitting a home run. Either him or Miggy hitting a home run is a new open. And you know what's just increasingly difficult to watch? And I listen, I understand. It's hard to find players of this caliber, but yet every effing team does. I watched the Cincinnati Reds, who have a terrible owner. Whole town hates him, and they hate his kid. No payroll, but they're still overachieving. They're about 500. But here's what they are. They're exciting. You can watch Hunter Green. You can watch, even though he's hurt right now, Nick Lodolo. You can now, oh, look, they called up Ellie, Ellie De La Cruz. Mm. Ellie De La Cruz, who they spent $65,000 on of international dollars. Hey, let's check the Alavila Dominican hotline. Still waiting. I've been here 20 effing years. I've never seen a player like Ellie De La Cruz. He walks into the show, and the Reds are now one of the most entertaining teams to watch in the league. 460-foot bomb. Right. You got it. Go, uh, triple running faster than Corbin Carroll. You got it. And you know what the Tigers' answer was to that? Do you know what it was? They traded a bag of, of Fruit Stripes gum to the Marlins to get some guy named Frank Rizzo. Who's a career 111 hitter in AAA. Top 50 draft pick in 2016. Yeah, which means he's about Kenny's age, 30. <laughs> and look, you can be bad. But I I mean, right, when we're I heard not even calling 50. up the people like Parker Meadows, who's 23. 
Justin Henry Malloy, Colton Keith, Scotty Harris. He just called up one of the jerky boys, Frank Rizzo. Come on. I think maybe the dirty little secret is they realize they don't have anything. They probably would love to call some of these players up and realize I can't do that. We, I don't know what the previous regime was doing, but I can't in good conscience bring these guys up to the major league because you're seeing none of them. I'm just you're making ma- what you say makes sense. I know, but Rico, on any level, you cannot on the lowest scoring offense in baseball with 210 runs, you have scored 30 less runs than the Oakland A's who aren't trying. You cannot keep putting Javi Baez batting second in your order. He's there today. Yeah, that was one I saw. I was like, oh, boy. <laughs> you know what kills me? His reward for that ridiculous strikeout the other night was hitting second. Another, what was he, one for he four got a hit. Yeah. Uh, with two Ks. He was one of the three people who got a You're hit. You're right, so. big, big single. He re, 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 mowed the lawn with that one. And you're going to keep hitting him second. I mean, Kenny, you're a huge Tigers guy. I understand there might be five people in town who care. I just find what they're doing to be insulting. You can't keep hitting this guy second. And I'm tired of watching other teams call up players and you give it a shot. Hey, if I call up a Justin Henry Malloy and it doesn't work out or a Colton Keith or whoever it is, it's okay. Send him back down. Give him a taste of the big leagues. You know why? Because these stiffs that I got up here, I know, I know. I'm 70 games in or whatever it is, 55, 60 games. I know they ain't doing a trick. Go ahead. We've been very patient with Scott Harris. We've given him all the all the leeway in the world to say, hey, I mean, we have a bad team. This is an Alavila mess that you have to clean up. But at a point, you have to start asking, when is he going to start trying to see what we have in guys like Meadows, Dingler, you know, Malloy, any of those guys? It's time to... You don't have to keep him up and do the Torkelson routine, but I want to see what else we could have in the cupboard. Right. By the way, I just tried to look up Frank Rizzo. His, his name might not be Frank because the Frank Rizzo who played Major League Baseball was born in 1931. What's this guy's first name? He would be a little old. Pete Rizzo? Who? What, what is it? What's this guy they traded a bag of artichokes for? Yeah, that would be Joe Rizzo. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was going to say Frank's, Pete Rizzo, Frank's chief grandson. content officer, Bitcoin Magazine. <laughs> What's this guy's name again? Joe. Joe Rizzo. Joe. Joe. <laughs> look at this guy. Are you kidding me? I look like I'm related to him. All right. Joe Rizzo. Let me pull up these hot numbers. I- I'm pretty sure he hits like 150. By the way, this guy's 5'8", 190. What's he going to do? Where is not? Look at these numbers. You cannot be serious with this. This is what Scott Harris is doing for me. This guy at AAA Jacksonville was a negative 1.8 war player. He'll fit right in. Maybe he sees the zone well, Mike. (laughs) I mean, if you're calling this guy up just because you need a body so they can bring someone up from the farm team, I'll live with it. But it's just really, it's really tough. I'm watching bad organizations. At least they got something to show their fans. And we're sitting here and going, Javi Baez in the two-hole tonight. See, here's the problem, and this is where you yell at me. I won't yell. Cupboards, bare. They were torn down. It's the rebuild of the rebuild, and this is why. Kenny, I understand. Just, he probably saw what he had and was like, yeah, if you can't do this here in Toledo, what makes me think you're going to do it in Detroit? Just can't be worse than Javi Baez. Javi Baez batting second. Look, all I'm saying is you got to drop him in the order. You can't, can't do it. Whatever. No one's gonna watch.